In the late 1970s, the United States was facing increasing concerns about the advanced radar systems and air defenses of the Soviet Union. The U.S. Air Force needed an aircraft capable of penetrating these defenses undetected, and thus the F-117 Nighthawk project was born. The Nighthawk was developed by Lockheed Martin's Secretive Skunk Works Division, the same team responsible for the SR-71 Blackbird. The aircraft's design aimed to minimize radar cross-section, making it nearly invisible to enemy radar systems. In December 1977, the first prototype, which was dubbed Have Blue, made its maiden flight. The F-117 Nighthawk features a unique angular design, which was groundbreaking at the time. This faceted appearance, combined with radar-absorbent materials, helped to scatter and absorb radar waves, making the aircraft difficult to detect. Equipped with two General Electric F404 turbofan engines, the Nighthawk could reach a top speed of Mach 0.92 and had a range of 1,070 miles. The aircraft was not designed for dogfighting or high-speed maneuvers, instead, its focus was on stealth and precision. One of the most notable features of the F-117 was its payload capacity. The aircraft had an internal weapons bay that could carry up to 5,000 pounds of ordnance, including laser-guided bombs and air-to-ground missiles, allowing it to deliver a precise strike on high-value targets. The F-117N, which was tested by the U.S. Navy, could optionally carry an additional payload of 8,000 pounds when it was fitted with hardpoints. The F-117 Nighthawk was officially introduced into service in 1983, and its existence remained classified until 1988. The aircraft's first combat mission took place during Operation Just Cause in Panama in 1989. However, it was during the 1991 Gulf War that the Nighthawk truly made its mark. During Operation Desert Storm, F-117s carried out more than 1,200 sorties, achieving a 79.6% hit rate on their targets. They played a critical role in disabling key Iraqi air defenses and command centers, paving the way for coalition air superiority. The Nighthawk was also deployed in other conflicts, including the NATO bombing campaign in Yugoslavia in 1999, and Operation Iraqi Freedom in 2003. Despite its advanced stealth capabilities, the F-117 Nighthawk was not invulnerable. On March 27, 1999, during the NATO bombing campaign in Yugoslavia, an F-117 was shot down by a Serbian surface-to-air missile system. This marked the first and only time a Nighthawk was lost in combat. The Serbian air defense crew managed to detect the stealth aircraft by using modified Soviet-era radar systems. The crew exploited a brief moment, when the F-117's bomb bay doors were open, making it more visible to radar. The pilot ejected safely and was later rescued by NATO forces. This incident demonstrated that even the most advanced stealth technology has its limitations and vulnerabilities. The F-117 Nighthawk was retired in 2008, as newer stealth aircraft entered service. The last of the Nighthawks were placed in storage at the Tonopah Test Range in Nevada. Even in retirement, the F-117 continues to influence modern stealth aircraft design. Its groundbreaking stealth technology and unique angular shape have become hallmarks of modern military aviation. As the first operational stealth aircraft, the Nighthawk paved the way for the development of advanced stealth technologies that are now commonplace in today's military aircraft. While officially retired, a few F-117 Nighthawks have been spotted flying in recent years. Some speculate that they are being used for testing and research purposes, or as adversaries in advanced training exercises, for pilots to hone their skills against stealth aircraft.